Hello, welcome to a little video to showcase how to create a joystick to motion uh, game. So the goal is to simply use your wheel or pedals or any controller you might have to uh, make your motion platform move. So let's go, let's go ahead and show this in detail. So here in motion, you can go to the global settings and here you will find a setting section about those specific games. So let's create a uh, joystick to telemetry game. So here you can go here and you will find the games already created. So for the purpose I already have a, a game but I will create a new one. So let's go, I will create a new one. Let's call it for instance Breakfast. Breakfast currently doesn't have any official telemetry. Uh, the new version is due to come uh, later, so maybe uh, the developers will be will add some telemetry. We sincerely hope. Uh, so I have breakfast. We can load a picture. By default, it's a it's a no-name picture based on the Simab logo, but we can load a specific picture. So you can see the ideal size here. So I've prepared one based on breakfast. So let's go. I've taken a breakfast header and now I have my header. So it's all I need to create a game. What does it bring? I can enable it right now. So it's like any game in Simhub. You will find it in the list. You can toggle, switch to this game right here and uh, you will be able to attach any profile for any features inside Simhub you might want. So it's more rev relevant for ambient lights, for uh, uh, for pedals, for a bit, uh, a bit of effects, but you can attach anything and the features will grow up uh, for games without telemetry with the time. So I have my game, I, I will go back to motion and now I have a, when I am on this kind of game, I will find a new button, axis mapping. So I will go in it and it will allow to create, uh, to go straight to the, to what we want which is to map our controllers to the motion. So let's go, axis mapping. So the idea here is to use your controller to generate telemetry uh, information. So we have a few basic ones which, which is enough to drive your motion platform. So we have roll here, pitch, surge, eve, traction loss and we have a few haptics information such as such as the engine throttle uh, or the gear change uh, inputs so let's go i will start with the roll so i have my wheel i will just turn it to the left here we go i will do the same to the right here we go and now you can see on the little preview that it will generate some roll. So the scale of the roll generated is configured just right here. Here we have said we want to generate 10 degrees uh, to the full uh, axis. So if I turn it right to the end, I have 10 minus 10 degrees in this direction and plus 10 degrees in this direction. So here we go. So the wheel is a very smooth uh, axis, so we don't need to use too much smoothing. The smoothing is meant to uh, lower so the little spike, but here we want it reactive. On a racing game, uh, when you turn to the left, you are projected to the right due to the g-forces. So currently, by default, it's not uh, what it does because it, go it goes to the left. Let's make a little try. I will enable the telemetry generation. It goes online. And I can turn to the left. And if I turn to the left in a racing game, I often more projected to the right. So we can reverse this behavior just here. So now if I turn to the left, I'm projected to the right. Turn to the right, I'm projected to the left. That's all what we need. For the next step, we have the pitch or surge generation. So by default, the pitch is uh, not enabled. It's generating zero degrees. Why uh, this default settings? Because surge is an information which contains, uh, which is transcribed on a motion platform as pitch uh, directly for the belt. 
and uh, a lot of effects like this. So you just need to have some surge generated to have a lot of, uh, of uh, motion effects and pitch is uh, only redundant in this case. So let's map it as it's indicated. So I will break, I will map my break. So I break, okay. I accelerate, I accelerate. Uh, and we can have the preview and since I'm online, we will see, we will, you will see it moving. So I will accelerate and now I will break. You can always tune the range of the effects later. This is only telemet telemetry generation. When you go to the effects, you can configure how much it will be smoothed, uh, the response curve. You can uh, change uh, how much it will be, it will take from the telemetry and how much it will generate uh, on the motion platform, how much degrees, uh, etc. If generation is a specific effect, you can ignore it for now. Uh, traction loss is more uh, is more common. I would recommend to stay within a very low uh, generated uh, traction loss. Uh, why? Because uh, since it's only generated by your inputs, it's not connected to any real game events. So traction loss is not on directly when you turn, it's not what you break, it's, it's more subtle uh, than this. So you might keep this very low if you use it. Uh, about the engine, I won't map it because it, it will make the fans, it will make the LEDs work, it, it will pollute this video, but you can map typically your accelerator like this. And it, it will generate, as you can see, some vi videos, the fans are starting and I will clear it for now because we don't need it. And next, the final uh, option, probably new effects we come later to map uh, to flight simulators, more effects, but for now we have the gear effect. So we can map it directly to shift down. We can add more input for shift up. We can add, for instance, a manual uh, shifter, let's go. So here it's the third gear, first gear, second gear. I won't map everything, it will be too slow, but as you can see now, I'm in telemet telemetry generation. I'm not sure you can see it on the video, but it's pulsing up and down when you are changing the, the gears. So let's, let's try, you can see it's moving up and down. So overall, that's all it takes to map the motion the, to a controller or multiple controllers if you need it. So you can see I can compose everything and have some motion. So based on this, we have our new game and we can, we can create a profile dedicated to this game. So let's go, uh, let's create a new profile, profile manager, new profile. I will set it to this current game. I will give it the breakfast name. Okay, let's load it. So I have a game, a profile dedicated to this game. So as we have seen, we need some role. We need, we can add some traction loss if you want. We can, we will, we will need the surge effect and uh, a new effect which is very interesting for uh, games without telemetry is audio to optics. So this effect is very specific, it's not based on telemetry, but it's using the uh, game audio to generate some optics movements. So it will analyze uh, and transcribe all the low frequencies to generate some motion. So we have a basic profile here for uh, motion uh, from controller. So now since this game is not uh, bound uh, to any telemetry, any over signal, we can just activate it here. So I will activate it and it's like any other game, it will be online. So let's go. My platform goes online and now it takes a few seconds to connect. No. I have my motion. 
So we can make it more or less responsive, for instance, by removing the, the smoothing, left, right, left, right. We can change the range to a more, more angle. As you can see, it tracks faster. Uh, and uh, for instance, we have set 10 degrees here. You, you can set here, it goes from 0 to 10 degrees as, in, as an input. Uh, Let me show you a little how the audio to haptics works. So I have a little uh, audio track here. It's full of bass. It's voluntary. It's uh, it's uh, it's a royalty-free track, but uh, it will do the purpose. So here it's moving. I guess you can see here. It's moving in rhythm, in, in rhythm with the music. It's completely connected, and uh, I, will, I will stop here. Now, with this, uh, you can transcribe a lot of game uh, information. For instance, when a game uh, changes the gear, you will have uh, some audio effects when in the low frequencies. The engine signature is also transcribed uh, as low frequencies and many other information. So instead of just having something flat, which is directly linked, linked to your wheel, you can add this, this extra layer to give it some life. So overall, that's all it takes uh, to create a game without telemetry, so just using inputs and no audio. Uh, I hope you like it this, this video i hope it will help you to get your way to create your, your first no telemetry game or custom game and uh, have a nice day <laughs>